after this video, we're going to hop right into Elden Ring because I need to make progress before Wukong comes out. And I do not want to play that game or have anything over my head. I feel like I'm missing something. Hold on. I'm missing something. I'm missing something. I'm missing something. No, I am not. I am not missing anything. This is Tomer Lawton. He also goes by the name Colton. He's a 21 year old YouTuber with millions of views to his name. Instagram millions. and TikToker with millions of views to his name. Claims that he was a model for Zara. And yes, he's also a kick streamer. And here's him about to get a girl that's not of age to expose herself live on his stream. You might have heard other YouTubers talk about him, but unlike them, no. I've gathered a year's worth of research and footage that you are about to see. Because on the surface, Tomer comes across as the typical run-of-the-mill Riz content creator that goes on Omi TV and the Monkey app, which are two alternative websites that everyone's been using since the original Omegle shut down. And he goes on these sites to specifically pick up girls. Yo, what's your name? My name is Yeah? Do you believe in love at first sight or should I walk by again? Walk by again. I don't think there's anything bro can do in this video to make me have a worse opinion of him just based off that. You don't even have to put Predator in the video. That alone, he deserves to be in jail. <laughs> nice to meet you. My name is Colton. But my really, really... I was insane. I'm not going to lie to you, bro. I genuinely feel uncomfortable. Close friends call me Ben. Ben. Ben Dover. I think you should give me a snap. So now that you've seen the content, there are a few videos that are outliers here that I feel are worth pointing out. How old are you guys? 17. Right, so the second, the moment you turn 18, my brother, you should, you should come over and suck the out of his. And I mean, I don't want you to sloppy toppy. Yeah, I want Glocky 3000. I want you to suck it. Like exactly like me, just maybe a little more bald than a little batter. I don't got a picture. Like, my phone's dead. Like, I don't know how to show you. Is he there? He's on a call with me, yeah, and he's saying he wants to come all over your faces and I don't understand um the culture. I know they're like I'm not trying to fear monger because like I said, I don't know I don't know what the culture of kick is. But why what what, what what's going on with the with the regulation or the moderation over there to where this is just like Like did Obviously, I would assume whoever this person is, they would be like removed from the platform over there. But did they get removed at the request of whoever is making this video or was the removal at like the acknowledgement of the team or the kick staff thinking like, oh, shit, like this dude is doing some weird shit. Let's get him off the platform. Like which came first? Side all your tight little holes. So drop your snap. Now, most will agree that it's pretty weird to act like this in general, let alone to girls who aren't of age. But hey. I'm probably just nitpicking two random videos out of the hundreds that he spams every single day on social media. But that's when Kick comes into the picture. Because there, you'll see his true colors. You find me attractive? Would you say you're like single? Yeah. And ready to f Maybe. Nervous. Hard up. Maybe? Yeah. Or like, could you flash me? No. Why not? Why would I? Maybe because whatever that he wants that he should get. Bro, these are just so creepy. Maybe because I'm dirty. <laughs> I don't know about that one. I think we got off on the wrong foot. Oh, oh. Getting way too hot in here. Why don't you get up and give me a 360? Did you guys say you have a car? Or no, you don't have a car, right? Right, that's why you said you're just going to ride me instead. Just put your snap in the chat. Bro, everything about this is making me cringe, bro. My, <laughs> my insides. And I'm supposed to take, like, if obviously what he's doing is wrong, but it's so hard to take it seriously because, like, who the fuck? Yeah, it's just, you know, what, what's that feeling? Make your skin crawl? And take off your top and start figuring yourself. Based off the sound of my voice, what would you rate me? I give you a seven. Hey. I, I. Oh, you're so cute. You have a great smile. 
Really? Listen, yeah. I don't mean to flex or brag or anything like that. But I am six for three Zara model. If I add you on Snap and send you a pic, odds yeah. of me getting nudes back. It depends. Wait, you actually have a kid though? You weren't joking. Yeah, I actually have a kid. Maybe you guys would get along really good. We would. We <laughs> oh my fucking god. We would. Yeah, we'd be homies. I'll take care of you sexually and of him financially. Well, we'll talk about it. Yeah. Where? Can I see mommy's titties? Or is that just is that being oh. crazy right now? He uses his looks. In corny pickup lines in an attempt to seduce these girls get their snapchats and to flash and let me tell you he tries everything this is what i do for a living yo model what what tell me your name first. my name is colton but i just did a photo shoot for zara and i wanted you to rate the fit just modeling portfolio you know yo he's so nice where are you, are you from? from i'm from miami but i'm a six foot three oh. bro you're really doing this this is crazy. I don't think I've ever seen this in my life before. Sorry, mom. That's no, I'm playing. <laughs> and everything. What about an ass? You gotta think. I've got some pictures. Wait, hold up. I dropped my vape. It's not the vape. The muscles in his back. Because he's ultimately waiting for the right moment when one of these girls takes the bait. Wait, I'm Hemothy. You're what? I'm Hemothy. Timothy, that's your name? Yeah. Okay, cool. Can you pull your hair? Is that a wig? It's too nice to be real. It's my it's good girl. Listen to daddy. <laughs> Dude. How old are you? I'm 18. How old are you? Cool, 20. I think we'd make gorgeous babies. I think so too. Yeah, I think I want to bust my nuts all over your mouth. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. Let's just ignore the little one. Just give me your snap. And um, I'll raise you over text, you know what I'm saying? I doubt that, but I also give you my snap. Why would you doubt me? Why are you doubting me, baby girl? You're Bro. I, I don't know what to do. Like, I don't even, like, I feel like I'm actually going to throw up or some shit. How do you not cringe like this? Like, I can see if this was like, like, uh, like, this is some shit that somebody would, you know? do to like try to make somebody cringe because you know how bad it is already but he again i'm just naive i'm naive you know i'm thinking everybody knows it is bad you already got that you're right you don't assume you're the right. positions oh you're gonna be assuming all the positions wait before you type your snap can i say one thing yes would you pop your tits fast, you two? Playing right now? Okay, so even though there's a friend in the room behind Tomer, you're about to hear other voices as well suddenly appear out of nowhere. Those are his other friends I he's in a Discord call with. And one of the main guys, he's Tomer's head Discord and stream mod. He also does edits for him. His name is Sean. He's going to direct him through all of this. What the fuck, girl? I am just chilling. I don't know what the fuck is going on, man. Like, I am not involved. Every, like, every... It's on what he should say. So this girl won't know that those people even exist, let alone that she's also on a live stream. Would you pop your tits fast, you two? Like, right now? Yeah. Okay, see... <laughs> What? I don't know. I, wait, why before my snap? Are you not... Okay, just for the one time, just for the one time. No, I you if you pop. wanted to make it dramatic. We'll see. Alright, show, um... Show me your face. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was hoping we could, like, just start talking and you wouldn't... Yeah, I was gonna, but then I was like, mm, do I, I really wa wanna see. Do I, I wanna really see wanna see. You know, they're not that... They're not that nice? No. I, you know what? I hate it when girls say that. You know why? These are titties. I, I think, I think, I, like... I don't want to skip the storyline, but I get it, you know? I get it. I feel like at this point, we've gone through like a torture chamber of clips to where who's making the video. Like, you've got, you got me, okay? You, I, you, you've made the point. I get it. He's weird. 
these lines are terrible it's predatory already that's cool you know what i'm saying i don't need to see another clip i love titties. i'm a titty guy i get he's saying i'm a titty guy i'm a titty guy i'm a hornball i i i need i'm a sex ad. i don't know what i don't know what he's addicted to but it's something I I, I wake up every day. Every like beyond this clip, there cannot be anything more to make me look at bro different from the way that he's been framed already. So I got enough. When every night I go to sleep and I just. <laughs> MRT, wait, we need to get this. Clip. I do it for titties. I do it for nice. Yeah, I meet a really nice girl that okay. night and my day. <laughs> okay. Bro, I was just joking around. If it's not for God and for titties. Who, who are you doing it for? Okay, let's, <laughs> for just flashing him. But let's play back what so he he went from that to begging. His friend on Discord just said. Okay, just for a second, guys, go follow Twitter. I'll be right there. So he gets these girls sure, to please play the LL Cool J track three Nigga. times over. We'll take anything at this point. Another man should. That's not true. Let's do it. No, no. I don't know which is worse, LL Cool J three times or this so far. I can't be. I literally can't tell you, bro. LL Cool J was on the same type of timing, low-key. Pose themselves just so that he can post them as clips onto Twitter afterwards. Boys, follow the Twitter right the f No, what is wrong with you, man? Try all those bitches that flashed us. Show us their t Shake on camera. Pop their f***ing All those whores that I can't show on stream or offline while I'm getting clips. Or I'm recording YouTube videos and they go off because I'm hot. Oh, those bitches was nice. Tits. They're all on the Twitter. Guys, if you want to see. Also, he's exposing them. He's trying to. Okay, well, not good. Now, now we get into the illegal territory. Good. Now it's no longer cringe. It's just like, when do we get locked up on some shit? That is brunettes and blondies. And you're going to go follow the Twitter right here, G. Itamore, act like you've just seen the craziest shit in your life. Look the Twitter. Holy shit. Oh my what God. the God. I know. Do you think they should all Guys, go follow that? Go follow that. God damn. God damn. Go follow right now. All that happened back in 2023. All those posts on that Twitter account has since been deleted. And the girl that Tomer was talking to was over the age of 18. Which, let me make this clear, is revenge porn. Which is illegal in both Miami, Florida and Toronto, Canada. The two places that he publicly states that he lives. These people on Omegle, Monkey App, Omi TV, they all can't consent. Because they don't know that they're being screen shared to Tomer and his buddies on Discord and live streamed to hundreds of people on Kip. And it doesn't matter if the person is under or over the age of 18. But you've already seen some of his short form videos. So you already know he doesn't shy away from talking to girls that are younger. I, I, it does sound like you should say. Exclusive. Take a look at these yeah, guys. Yeah, what about the like... Nigga, was that Central C? Yeah. Just put that. nine gallon of I'm from. 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 I'm no, he's in the military. And why are you so hot? I don't know, bro. I can't. Like, what am I? What? What? What do I get? What do I get? Like, what? What do I get? What do I get? I don't. I don't. I don't get what more I'm gonna get from from. Like, can I just? I like. I can't actually. My two and a half years older. Or like two years, like a couple months. Twenty. Listen, let's just do this. I never do this, but no. Okay. I can't keep like. I can't actually watch this. Like, can I, can I, wait, slap your ass, can I, like, I don't need, the, I get it, you know? Terry's a special guest in this video. You'll never guess who. What does that mean? Pounding the f*** out of your pussy. But, hear me out, but you won't show me your tears. So I'm just like, I guess I'm just a little confused. Doing it for the next, like, five, ten consecutive years. Well, sex, obviously. But right, bro, I get it. I can't. I can't. Come on. I want to brutally. All right, bro. But let me remind you, she does not know that she's on a stream right now. Also, she's 17. That means all the photos that she's showing Tomer were from when she was younger. Is this me being what? Is that you right now? 
It's gonna be a little less, but... You won't be tested. Uh, close enough. Okay. Uh, okay. In front of Tomer. And after minutes go by, they have to abruptly end because... What the... <laughs> what yeah. the f*** is that? Learn. <laughs> From what? That's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing but love. Gonna be peasant blood. Well, not peasant blood. Gonna be coming out with blood, now. He wait, wait for everyone to leave the Discord. <laughs> I was acting, bro. I did not like that at all. I know you guys know I hate doing that, but when I do oh, do you that, weird. no. But when I do do that, bro, the views go up. Insane. Two people joined the Patreon. Bro, that you did that for two Patreon subs? All of that for a couple Patreon subs? How much of a bitch ass, broke ass, sexually deranged nigga do you have to be? For that to be your motivator like is this is this literally the only thing bro's a freak monster thank you boys i love you the full video is gonna be on patreon the full video is gonna be on patreon you heard him correctly Tomer's advertising his Patreon, where for $25 a month, you get access to the uncensored videos of the girls he gets to expose themselves from both Omegle, Omi TV. So does Patreon like have a filter system where they look through the content that you post or is it just free game? I know they're not just allowing anything, but and the monkey app. You guys are rats. You don't drop subs anymore. So that's why you lead me to do plan. I've been live for three hours now, one sub. It's fine, bro. I'm here for the community, but I'm just saying, guys, your boys gotta eat from a financial perspective, hence why we do the Patreon. But that full 30 minutes of her absolutely destroying her pussy. Everything. Question. Question. It's on Patreon. I don't know, guys. Look, I got a girl, right? So I do this for you guys. Like, when I do this, it's for you guys. I don't f***ing enjoy it, bro. I only enjoy that when it's my wifey. When it's random whores, it's like, like nice, nice pussy, but... I mean... This shit's so weird. Yeah, like, I'm not gonna say I hate it, but... No, but, you know, the girls see me and they're just... They instantly turn into a so we automate that. <laughs> I love you, chat. Holy f look the Discord! You guys are whores. everyone in the Discord, drop a sub right now. Bro, what <coughs> what is going on in your personal life to where you're in this Discord? Like what's happening? It can't, it can't, bro, it cannot, it cannot be this. I, I don't, I don't get it. I don't get it. I'm going to just stop. Why, why rationalize it? I, I don't get it. It's just as simple as the accepting the fact that you don't get it. Never been enough in Discord call with this many bro, people, bro. So many people. Oh. But he would even go as far as to offer this. Dude. Also, whoever joined the Patreon, all three of the homies, I'll give you her snap and sh Like, I got you. Hit me in the DMs on Patreon, I'll DM you guys. He's advertising that he's gonna give the 17 year old girl's Snapchat to anyone that pays for his Patreon. That's. Like, you could have 40 year olds with their mics off just waiting and rubbing their hands together for the moment that you get in there with a minor and you're basically handing them over on a silver platter to potential pedophile you don't know any of the niggas in your discord like what are you doing what are we talking about you're already technically grown yourself spreading cp like bro what What are we talking about? You're like you putting this girl in danger. I don't know what type of data they could get from having her Snapchat or her, her social media. Even seeing her face. Like, bro, this is weird as fuck. 
it's like it, it requires more than just a deletion of a kick page bro like where where is the actual legal intervention it's wild like you got to tell me by the end of the, there's got to be some what do you call that like uh silver lining at the end of this where the nigga goes away in cuffs there's no way to know or loses all future job prospects or something or gets put on some type of list the age of the people who are paying for that so your master plan to boost sales is by giving away her snapchat that's foul but tell us more about this patreon tomer i'm listening this is it right here yo i made it yo but i'm gonna remove it so join oh. up because 20 yo for all the f hours that i put into this on a daily basis yeah it's only a fast food meal boys so boys if you want to join it's your time to do so right now and i mean that too but chad this is not just you getting free not free but you know what i mean this is you being able to join our discord calls on a daily basis on a concurrent in lucrative exotic daily basis you can pop out with the homies see all this while we're live you're in the court you don't have to get angry at me in the chat about this duck you can just sit back relax you get some merch workout routines skincare routines some w, -t w, -t w tips for in leveling the up in your life it's fire it's insane it's gonna be unreal that patreon page ended up getting taken down so we made another one and then that got taken down and then he made a buy me coffee account and then that got taken down like when they get taken down it's like it ain't just like some community guideline strike my boy like you you posted illegal content we gotta let some higher up know you know what i'm saying we have access to where this video was uploaded from we could literally send it to you know what i'm saying authorities in your area and let them know or notify um whether or not they take action is a different story police generally don't do anything unless something happens and so we made a kofi account and then that got taken down. So he moved over to a company called Uscreen to host his own website. And then he changed the web hosting site to Wix. And that's where he kept it. But wait, there's more. I wonder if I did this, would people enjoy it? And I did this and I now have 200 members. And I can tell you people f enjoy it. Now you're probably sitting there all confused. Like, yeah, what the f is this guy talking about? This is the website. It's called the Club. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You guys saw this. And then this... <laughs> This is a sneak peek. So you guys asked me where I've been, like, right? I've been getting all these clips and shit. And, um, yeah. But this is, Chad, this is all censored, y'all. I can't see anything here. All of this, Chad. All this f***ing crazy sh All these f***ing f***ers, bro. And obviously some of these are reposts because we're just trying to get conversions into the website. Again, this is all censored. Okay, so can I show you guys what I actually want to show y'all? I gotta be f***ing quick with this. It's dangerous. Okay, this is where you get entered into this and a couple other things after you join the website it's our telegram group chat and um yeah uh it's all this it's all the clips there's three oh it's over this it's over it's over now regular people who are doing crime on telegram you're doing it for drugs. Nine How times out of ten. Do you have to be to do all this. Nine times out of ten. Okay, just drugs. Nothing too crazy. You know what I'm saying? In the privacy of your own shit. But you got to watch his response vid to this. I don't know. We need a to response. turn bro into a pack. There's no way he responded to this. Cause what is it that you could say? But Bro. I don't want to know what this dude has shared with people. Bro, one swipe and your entire Telegram message history is deleted, gone forever. One swipe, it's over. The shit that this dude could have shared in between that time period. bro like you gotta i don't know bro nah bro this nigga bro 300 clips guys every day i'd hop on for eight consecutive hours nah, instead bro. of streaming i'd get these f clips and even if i wanted to stream during doing this i genuinely couldn't have because i can't show any of this 
on stream. Alongside his exclusive club, he's promoting that you also get access to his Telegram group chat. And on there is every single video Tomer has ever gotten of a girl to expose themselves. And now would be a good time to tell you that Tomer has been doing Omegle content for a pretty long time, dating all the way back to 2020. But back then, all he did was get girl snaps and leak it to the chat. What's your snap? I can't see my phone's like blocking my keyboard. We'll make sure to add you up. I wanna run you like a train. What? Okay, okay bet. How okay. old are you? 17. I turn 18 in May. Okay, well, you better call me in May, okay? I will. Love you. I love you too. I got the snap for you guys, so all I ask for is a thank you. But now, like he said, your boy's gotta eat from a financial perspective. So he moved over to something he knew would pay. And that's why. <laughs> On his Telegram, he has accumulated over 268 videos, one file, and 18 GIFs. Now, there's no way of knowing if any of the videos in that Telegram had girls who weren't of age in it. That's what I'm saying. All that shit, one swipe, your whole, like, you, and the, the company, like, I don't know, it's the way they encrypt your conversation. They can't get any of that. Nobody. Right? I mean, you guys even probably remember this bitch. This was on stream. Okay, whatever. There's like a million clips. So what you just saw was Tomer showing the face of one of the girls he got to expose himself. It just so happened it was a 17-year-old you saw earlier in this video. So now we know one of them has a girl that's not of age in it. That leaves us left to wonder about the 267 others. His telegram has over 100 members on it. That's a lot of people. How is he getting so many people to join his exclusive club? Well, he's advertising it on Kick, but he also went back to promoting it on Twitter. But not on his main account though. Under the Twitter handle, Omegle underscore HD, Tomer was spamming sneak previews of his exclusive club content every 10 minutes, by the hour, every single day. But if you look closely at this clip, Tomer was advertising this Twitter account while being logged into a different Twitter account called Omegle Club. And alongside that, I found that he had another account called Omegle Community where he was doing the exact same thing. What Tomer is doing is illegal on so many levels. He's filming, saving, editing, distributing, advertising, and profiting off of CP. And he feels the freedom to do this openly and live on kick. Yeah, what up, baby? How old are you? How old are you? I'm 19. Fuck, I'm 16. Oh my god. Sorry, my hair is going crazy right now. Wait, bring the mic closer. Can you hear me? Yeah. Can you Your voice just sounds better when it's closer. Since you're 16. Yeah, you like that? Yeah, I do. You wanna play with your pussy while I talk to you? Bro, she said she was 16. That was out of nowhere. Are you 20? No, I'm not 20. Are you 18? I'm a little young. Bro, what the fuck? I can't watch these clips. These clips I can't see. Because I already get it. You know what I'm saying? I get it already. I know what he's about. <gasps> yeah, give, or, me snap. give me your snap right now. All right, baby, listen. That's your snap. I'm mad you up. I'll talk to you. I'll send you the face. <laughs> Hi, baby. I ended up finding her on Omi TV and telling her that she was on his live stream. So now that you've seen all this, let's catch Tomer. Because there's a few questions I gotta ask him. I tried connecting with him on Omi TV using the one thing I knew he wouldn't skip. Himself. I know she a big bitch. Yeah, oh, that guy's sexy. Man, how you doing? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh God! <laughs> Nigga said his face. Yo, no, his face yo, man, aren't you? Aren't you a content creator? I am. Yeah. I've seen you before. How, how old are you? Aren't you like twenty-one, bro? It's your Instagram. I'm just live right now. You live on Kick? Hell yeah! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. See, I know you. I know you. I have You're a question though. Man's. Yeah. All the girls that you see on here, right? Mm-hmm. Like all the girls that you connect with. Yeah. Do they know about uh, your streams? A good amount do, yeah. But a good amount yeah, don't. Do they know about your exclusive club? What the fuck? What do you mean? Do they know about the way you're profiting off of them? 
Well, some do, some don't. Nigga said that's Eddie Murphy. Okay. So does this girl ring a bell? Bro. Bro. Holy f It's one of the clips of one of the bitches. But she's not in there. She's not in there. Chat, she's not in there. She's not in there. We're good. She's f Christ, bro. She's trying to fucking kill us. Yeah, yo, Blondie, what's your name? That was wild. He you was cooking. Did you know that we're profiting off of them? Pfft, profiting off of them. Do you fucking... Do you even know that, like... He doesn't even know. Should I just... What are you talking about? Bro, this nigga's voice is really, like... I get it when they say certain sounds can just trigger people into doing some shit that they just... Say it? No. You know what I'm gonna say, yeah? Something about chicken doing side quests. I respect it. Well, he skipped me. But after he finished his stream, I got a very special DM from someone. Yo, Darrell. Spelled my name wrong. It's two L's, by the way. My bad for skipping. I had 20 people in a call yelling, and you did catch me off guard. But yes, that girl did flash yesterday. However, I covered it and skipped. Even deleted the VOD. And he scared the shit out of him, but he had to pretend not to be scared while he was streaming. His heart went from like 70 BPM to like a thousand. Because there's no reason if you think you don't do some shit wrong, like you come back after on a separate account to DM the nigga who asked you questions about what you were doing that you said was all, all right. And she reached out to me on IG. Yeah, okay. So if you're telling the truth, she only did that because I told her she was on your live stream. And the site, bro, there's exclusive content on there, but no nudity. So yeah, obviously some people would agree with you and say the people in the clip should know. But reality is not everyone we film for our YouTube and TikTok is aware we're clipping and streaming. Feel free to ask me anything, though. We can even hop in a call and I'll show you the site. Oh yeah, nah, he's cooked. No, like I'm, I'm good. <laughs> and yeah, you're right. The people in both of our Amigo videos don't know that they're being screen recorded. But there's a huge difference between what I'm doing in my videos and what you're doing in your videos. I do magic tricks and little VFX pranks and you're getting girls to expose themselves. How can I say this any better? What I'm doing is legal and what you're doing is illegal. Also, bro, that girl said she was 18 and it's on the VOD. I'm 16. Bro, she said she was 16. He then showed me a screenshot of the video file. There's 15 to 20 vids teaching men how to be more com I was attached to his website. There's like 15, 20 videos teaching men how to be more confident, talk to women without being nervous, unsure why it says free, it's only part of Elite. And then there's 15 edited, insanely good, costing me so much. I mean, okay, cool. I have a question though. What is that third folder? Why does it for some odd reason now have no videos in it? I wonder what could have been in there prior to you DMing me. But dude, it's act crazy meeting you. GG's on the creative content. I'm really trying to get out of the Riz niche. And I genuinely want to- You're such a fucking coward. Oh my god. Oh my god, bro. Get into stuff like that you're doing. But bro. Tell me if you have any ideas. Every time I try and not pick up girls and more so focus on being funny and creative, everyone in the chat spams exactly this. Get, get girls. L no women. And it's so demotivating that half the community genuinely only wants that. I know you're crazy busy, but I hope we can talk again. Just a month after those DMs, my first kick video comes out. And the next day... Check DM. Important regarding kick. Durrell. Once again, two L's. You're so close every time. I don't know if you read my messages or just simply didn't respond, but I... This nigga had to hit him up because he know he next. He know he next. So, he was... While he was making the first To Catch a Predator video, he was already collecting data and information on bro. And as soon as he saw the first one go up, obviously the nigga was like, oh, my God, my time has come. I got to get it. I got to get ahead of this. I got to stop this before it blows up and becomes too big. Wish to tell it was panicking. Nigga, that due to you and some close friends of mine, I completely left the brain rock. Oh, yeah. No, brother, it's too late.
It's over. The community of getting women to flash for subs. It's almost like being on kick brainwashed us all to believe anything was possible. Since people were begging for and rewards, we'd get donations from people like Eddie. He's one of the founders of kick, by the way. For example, he dropped me one. This is insane. One of the founders of the website dropping subs in your chat or in your <laughs> in your stream like is that like some incentive to keep people streaming on the platform because i wouldn't i would let's say i give eddie the benefit of the doubt right and i say oh okay you don't know who you're dropping subs for is the user activity so bad on kick to, to where that one of the owners of the creators has to come in and like revamp everybody's chat oh here's more subs more artificial support so that you'll stay here and not go back to another streaming service it can't be that bad 150 subs on my 10th stream even when i gotta go to flash that in the past and i've got a lot of praying to done in order to clean up my sins in terms of all the people i might have offended during my short time on kick but i felt the need to let you know you're doing a good job and i know you may think of me as one of them but no i'm proud you're helping a change of nigga saw that video and shat immediately her kick is completely brainwashing their creators into thinking all is okay that night when you showed me that girl who said she was 18 but was actually 16. I'm 16. Bro, she said she was 16. Flash, it scared the bejeebus out of me. On top of many prior conversations and thoughts, I had so thank you, bro. Because when I made the change to go PG, my videos started getting 10x the views. And so did my mental emotions towards content creation. Mental emotions, chat. Because where else do those things take place? As a career, Kick definitely blurred my vision. And you're right for hating on our type of content, man. And if you'd Every like to connect, I, I have a... This is read. so crazy. I load one round in the clip. <laughs> no, it's just like, it's just constant. It's constant, bro. He just like, keeps coming with another wave of messages. Like, brother, you're already done. You already in the next video. <laughs> a lot, a lot of information that could help you. I actually have some screen recordings of streamers like Derek Graz and many more. This thing is <laughs> Yo! Oh, no, nah, this nigga's trying to save his life. Oh, this is hilarious. Doing what you're trying to expose. But I also want you to know that a lot of them do it because their viewers pressure it out of them mm. for subs. Like, you need to genuinely understand Nigga said take them, not me. And the backhand contact. Even though oh it seems God. insane, no matter what, their audience and donos from people like Eddie and Chat can confuse one and impair one's vision. Okay, so this is a huge thing I've noticed since my original video came out, is this sense of backpedaling within these Omegle kick creators. Because prior to my first video coming out, a lot of them did the exact same type of content of trying to get girls to expose themselves. Even though, yes, the strangers that these creators targeted were over the age of 18, let me make that clear. But even with that, it's still illegal. Like I said earlier in this video, it's still revenge porn. They don't know that they're on a live stream. And as much as they try to sweet talk them, every bro what i don't get okay i'm taking this right back on my head because like bro what why how are you even why are you even in this position on omegle or wherever you're streaming bro what are you doing what are you doing I was too far back. Let me see what I'm talking about. Close. I was, I really was too far back. Try to come up with games to work around it. And I know it's random, but I'm just trying to be different. It's called Simon Says. I know it's corny, but just don't lose it, right? Simon Says, hands like this. Bro, what the fuck are you doing? Your wife beater is tucked into jeans. You look 40. What is this? Simon Says, spin around. Do you have anything the size of this, like a chat? 
nigga look like LL Cool J. What the fuck is happening? I took a lip gloss, a vape, a lighter. I don't know. I'm giving you a couple extra points here, but here's the thing. Basically, the He's like those niggas that have a mall. Like, you go to the mall, and then they like, yo, I hate this so much. They, they're, 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 they're switching shit up, bro. This man cosplaying as a straight man. They're switching shit up. Because they're no longer saying, hi, do you need something? They start off with a whole different, like, intro scheme. They're no longer saying hi or what up. They're like, they're like, inst they're, they're, they're like they, they, the way they walk up to you is if you're already in conversation. Like, nigga, no, I don't know. Like, you got to be rude to niggas now to get away. It's crazy. To put it right here. And you this nigga got a whole script planned out. He is, yo, check all his hard drives, bro. Together. If I can still see it, you didn't pass the test. This one no, this is insane, bro. A little teaser. Yeah, basically, He's been practicing this whole scheme, dude. Don't, you know, don't do nothing wild. Position the camera up. Do, do an arch for like five seconds and I'll let you know, you know if you actually rock with that shit. So let me see if you can actually hold that arch, you know what I'm saying? Just with the panties, no cheating. Just this is insane. I can't lie, bro. To be, I don't even know what the motivation for doing this would be. I don't know if it's like massive horniness or for potential profit, whatever the case might be. Having a script like this in your head for random girls on the internet. Just with the pain, you know what I'm saying? Move them just a tad there, baby girl. You put on Set the camera down so we ain't gotta hold it. But basically, go in the closet. Get like one or two pairs of your favorite like bras or- What are you requesting? Like imagine being a girl, you cop, you pop on a live stream, you just see this nigga randomly, you just get rapid fire questions thrown your way immediately. You don't even know this person panties pretend like you're like in a victoria's secret fashion show whatever the case may be right i'll be the judge i'm gonna hop you up i'm gonna hop you up you feel what i'm saying i'm gonna give you a couple points we're gonna have a little mini fashion show some slice on a scale for one to ten how flexible would you call yourself so basically do, do another arch so look i'm gonna look this way close my eyes count down from 10 when i turn back around open my eyes Surprising, but they, he, here's the kicker though. Do something that will make me never forget you for the rest of my fucking life. Bro, what the fuck is this? He looks like a mix between Wolfie and Train Rex. Okay, so this is a hypothetical. I'm gonna give you an extra 20 points. So let's say you was down bad, you lost all your, you lost all your little situations, right? I'm gonna give you only 45 seconds to find some sort of replacement it can be a hairbrush or you know a remote whatever have you ever a replacement for what yeah what what for i thought it was just one part you but know what you, for, so do you, i thought it was one guy little, do what you gotta do but when you come <sighs> back put just a just not even a half 20% of it in there. And others will just blatantly lie and say that they're not live streaming. Oh, hey girl, you are, you are so pretty. Oh, I feel like you and I can solidify this friendship and flash each other. What do you think? He's streaming. No, I wouldn't get you to flash. That's rude. Hey girl, you are so pretty. How old are you? Thank you. I'm 18. Oh, you're so pretty. Do you want to flash each other our boobs? Hey girl. Oh, this is so weird. Oh, you are so pretty. I love me a BBW. Let me get a kiss. How big, like what size are your boobs? 42 double D. I've never seen that. Can I see it visually? You look big mm -hmm. Can I see that juicy ass jiggle? No, but why? Mm -hmm. Can I see you doing jumping jacks, but with your shirt off and no bra? Do you what I come back from killing a lizard and mosquito in my house to this Sean. What's happening right now? What do you mean you killed a lizard? Trey, what the fuck are you talking about? How did you kill? What do you mean? You killed a lizard. What, is, what does that What does that mean? Why is there a lizard just roaming? Like, is it like a random lizard? Like, what are you talking about? What do you mean? You didn't leave a mess? Like, you... I, whatever, bro. You are so pretty. Wow. How old are you? I'm pretty, too. I'm 18. You want to zip down your shirt until your boobs flop out? Oh, you're so beautiful. You, too. Should we show each other? Our you can just, like, have your thong on. Do you want to flash each other? Should we show, show each other our bra? I feel like we could build a strong friendship if we flash, flash each other. Are you guys friends? Yeah. It looks really cute. Have you guys ever tried making out or compared boob sizes? Do you want to flash each other because we both have some fat, juicy boobs? I hate with the I like it. That looks really good, though. Can you do that again? You don't even have to show me your nipples. Do you want to flash each other? Okay. Okay, yeah. first, stand up and can I see your outfit? Well, let me see. Just stand. Just stand. We got to get rid of kick, bro. It's unfortunate because, like I said, there's probably... I'm not a person that believes, like, uh, an entire platform. Like, oh, everybody's like that over there. But until you have enough regulation to where this is impossible, then you might need to shut it down. 
until you can like get to a point where like cuz bro this is insane bro this is just crazy. and then act surprised when someone actually does it <coughs> your boobs look big let me see i i jinxed you i said you I'm owe me a fly confused on how trump's team let him be on kick without doing a background check on the site i'm not gosh so come on okay i guess all right you got me i just did not think she would do that but then does this <laughs> That's my first pair of tits on Monkey. And she ends up collabing with one of the biggest celebrities to surprise people on the Monkey app with. Hi. So for everyone that said... Nor at this point kick streamers are guilty till proven innocent. What do I say to that? Like, of course. Ta da. <laughs> oh, God. This video keeps getting worse. This the moment when the big bad guy shows up. Bro, Shy Anonymous. Thanks, bro. Like, I don't know what to say. I just need a second. Drake, man. you just don't care now, huh? I just need a second, dog. <sighs> the 69 got himself. Bro. Who do we have here? This is so crazy. An entire web. Like an entire hand on the chin and everything. It's all right. I'm gonna just. I'm gonna just play it, bro. His pose is crazy. That he was. It was a fake person. That looks pretty real to me. Can you do this? Oh, you flipped it. Thank you. I need that as a clip, you guys. Oh, all right, I have to go get ready, honey. Start okay, I appreciate me. you. Thank you. Bye. Bro, guess who just came, you guys? Oh my god, we just came to the monkey stream with Drake. Some of these Omi TV and monkey app streamers go too far. What's up? Alright. I'm trying to see who got the prettiest tees on here. You want to be a contestant? I'm giving away $250. Damn, Damn. you got some big ass tees. How old you at? You 18? <laughs> Let me see. Let me see your nip. What? Nip, Nipsey Hustle. Let me see your nip. Try too hard. Alright, so you're gonna like hit me up on Snap later or what? Yeah. But let me see those uh those piercings again real quick. Yeah, come on, they were tough though. That was like a sneak peek. Alright, so give me a second sneak peek. They were nice as hell. Are too desperate. I want them to be bigger, but like ah, those are those are perfect. Be like let me see them. Let me rate them one through ten. <laughs> no, it's small, oh, bro. No, let me I rate, let me rate them one through ten. Act so strange. Let me see your outfit of the day again. I have short term memory loss. Bro, this is insane. This is so crazy, bro. Like you, I, I, just, I could just envision somebody just be a hunched over their screen, like, oh my god, what's next? What's next? What's like it. I don't know. No, I, I guess nothing is worth. I guess nothing is like worth. Bro, like you don't have any level. Like I don't know what it is. I don't know what you call this, bro. Obviously, yeah, it's predatory and everything like that, but like. It just borders like addiction. Like, what is making you like this? It ain't just brain rot. It ain't just brain rot. It's just like this, like insatiable desire to see people in this way, like constantly. Like, does your brain not take a rest? 
I forgot what your outfit of the day was. You wanna see my outfit of the day? Yeah, yeah, yeah. With the side of moon balloons? Yeah, yeah. Like, work it, work it, work it. I know you know how to work it. I. So, can I see your moon balloon? My what? Your moon balloon. My boots? Yeah, your moon balloon. Say too much. What size? What size is your bra? I wanna buy you like a blue bra. You jump, they go, go jump. Bounce, just bounce in the bed real quick. Let me see it. Let me see the piercing. Let me see the piercing. Do too much. I'm, I just, I'm looking at this girl and she's just in there like, has them like over her like. And, and mm -hmm. that, that would be a good angle. Yeah, I've done that before. Wait, let me see that real quick. Just like, just take them out a bit, you know. Like, squeeze them when they're out. I'm just trying to imagine. I'm telling you, jumping jacks will get you money. Or are just pure evil. Yeah, we good. have a conversation. Let's see. Uh, the conversation is that you said you wanted my kids to be raped. Do you remember saying that? Do you remember yeah, saying that? To I was you? I was mad. We had un we found underage nude photos on your page. Okay. You're preying on kids. You're sharing their nude photos. <clears throat> your server. I'm not sharing. I shared. Don't don't even don't. I shared and I didn't know. I didn't know. Ass up. What that dude said about my kid, he can f rot. <laughs> yeah, you made me mad. Yeah, I'll say sorry. it again if you want me to. Like I don't give a. You just gotta remember, you can't go to jail for saying that. Like, why even hop in a call with this nigga, bro? Like, it's just just knowing that somebody says some shit like this that exists and I can't strangle him in two seconds or I can't just immediately get my hands on cuz. Like, what are you talking about? This is just an infuriating conversation to try to entertain. If your kid. Even if a girl is of age, right? If you are convincing her to get nude, thinking that it's only you there, Sorry, and you're no, screaming it to a group Scott's of people in a Discord server, that's re that's considered revenge porn. That's considered non-consensual pornography in 48 states. So you're breaking revenge laws by doing that at all. And I don't want to hear you say that you, oh well, yeah, no, they agreed to it. No, the f they didn't. I was there. I watched you do it, dude. Let me see what. Let me see where revenge. Bro, is this just of sexually images of videos or without their consent? This nigga's Google. Then, yeah, she's right. That is revenge. Yeah, it's revenge because they don't know. The girls that do it, they don't fucking know. I gotta chill with the Omega content anyway. I, I need to go a whole stream without saying I'm a you. This nigga has a beard, bro. A non connected beard, but a beard nonetheless. This ain't just some little, you know what I'm saying, internet little nigga, like some little little kid or nothing like that. Like you are what I am perceiving to be a almost grown ass man. For real, I need it. like y'all need to challenge me. Go a whole day without saying some crazy. Sh that's a that's a well, that's a, 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 a wake up call. On here, they'll care about their reputation. Like no. this shit can be brought up again in your life, and you're done for. But niggas really don't care. Is crazy. I don't think they care. Oh, that that you're getting exposed, bro. For real, this guy would literally hide his screen live and go have e sex with these girls, then post his screen recordings to an NSFW channel on Discord. In his community, will work hard to leak any girls' nudes that they could add on Instagram or Snapchat. Are you recording? No, I don't record. I just got off the game. Damn, but let me come through. I'm not gonna come through. I'm gonna try three hours for your fun as long as you let me. Shout you. Let me get your number. You definitely recorded. Why do you think I'm recording you? What the fuck? Yes, I've been posting on Amigo before. Like, that shit is so tragic. It's so weird. Like, I like that's the weirdest hell, bro. For real, for real. What's your favorite position? Like, what's your top three? Oh, you, mm -mm. you got me. You got me hard as hell. Do I get bent, bro? <laughs> nah, I had to. Cool. Okay. Monkey, yes. And it's a Discord. Discord ended up getting. Come on, now. Let me see them. They look so pretty. Oh my God. Pull them out for me. Come on, now. I just want to see them real quick. There's so many killer creator problems. This is a whole kick community problem. Like, there's so many of these creators out there. But that's a story for another day. But now, these streamers have either quit entirely, moved over to gaming content, or still do Omegle, Omi, and Monkey content, but now have a new outlook on it. We do need to cover guidelines, boundaries, rules. 100%, bro. We're gonna do what we're gonna do. We need to make it known to our community. <laughs> These niggas are losers in a, like, they, <clears throat> there's like a group of them. 
You think it's just like a bunch of a group? A, you think it's just like isolated, demented niggas in different areas and different sectors of the internet? No, they're literally just a group of these niggas. Communities, bro. I don't really care for viewers, to be honest. At this point, this was a wake up call for all of us. I'm not gonna be doing that that uh, sexual content. I don't care. It's still risk. Like, just don't violate no, uh, yeah. personal. You know? I think I think I, our I, funny. You know, you get yeah. the snap, whatever, and then call it a day, right? You don't gotta get her naked. You know that they're of age, ID check, whatever. You get their socials. You can get if they if you tell them, yo, I'm streaming. You want to yeah. do a 360, whatever. No, nigga, it's just weird. What? Why is this the? Why is that the content? What? Ask them to do a 360. What are you talking about? And but they're fine with like, it. Yeah, you know? Right. Yeah, but when it gets into like the crazy, yeah, like the. <laughs> they're, they're actually having a meeting. Like, oh, 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 all right, all right, group, group, group huddle. Like, what the fuck are y'all talking about? Easy f content. In my sense, I think it's just like, and since Kick was so, so, like, you know, like, freedom open, open to anything. Yep. Yes, yes. Even if you start ID checking people, you gotta remember. Some of these kids have fake IDs. Or they could just blatantly lie about their age. There is no definitive way to confirm the age of the person on the other end of the screen. Because at the end of the day, they're a kid. They know that they shouldn't be on the site. So what do you think they're going to do when posed with the question, how old are you? They're not going to tell the truth. Tomer experienced that firsthand. I remember you. <laughs> I remember you too, girly. I got a question for you. I have a question for you. I remember, like, a while back. I don't know what you you're talking about. You get me to, like, flash your baby on stream. Yeah. I don't know. Yes, I don't know. You just no, I don't know. definitely know what I'm talking about. I just think it's a little strange. Like, you could have at least given me a little heads up. Bro. I could have. I'd see you. I'd be like, yo, what up? How you doing? And I'd be like, bet, bet, that's fire. Let me see your titties. And, like, half the time I was joking, and you'd be like, I want you to come over my pretty little body. Yeah, bro. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. And I'd be like, oh. Ah, okay. oh. I'm 13, though. What? Yeah. You literally said you were 19. Yeah, I had issues. This was like five months ago. No, it wasn't. This was like years ago. I remember because I had short hair. That's impossible. How old are you right now? 16. What? But you showed me an ID. Oh. You had a fake. And don't show freaking random people to get to the internet. And I don't think any of these Riz content creators want to be put in this scenario. Stop doing a YouTube thumbnail face to the news that you got a 13 year old to flash on your live stream. And now that makes me so worried about that Telegram group chat of over 200 videos. The clip I just showed you was from when Tomer came back from his long break from streaming, after I called him out, and after my first kick video. So when he suddenly came back, he all of a sudden became a very noticeable face on Omi TV and Monkey. Yo! Oh my God. That's good, guys. No, it's a TikTok guy. Because oh, it's God. that guy! Yo, you Bro, aren't you like a YouTuber? You're on TikTok, aren't you? I swear I've seen you like somewhere. You totally are. Can I have your snap? That's because during his break, he started his social media grind with his much lighter Risen content. But the problem still lies within those kick streams because he always felt tempted to go back to doing what he did in the past. <laughs> Who's making these f***ing plans? You're f***ing cute as f***. Yeah, that, yeah, that out of the way. I was going to ask you, if I wasn't gay, would you smash? <laughs> I would. I'm not gay though. Okay, that's fine. Alright, give me your snap then. Do you think I'm rude for like thinking that you look like you give really good head and would it be for real? Can I see you? So after this interaction, I found her on Omi TV and told her that she was on a live stream. She later DM'd me and agreed to the following interview that you're about to see. I don't know if you noticed, but Tomer never asked the age of that girl. Oh my so God. how old is she? All right, so just thank you so much for taking the time out of your day and have this small interview and everything. I'm just gonna ask you three simple questions. Starting off, let's get this right out the gate. How old are you? I'm 15. Okay. And can you describe the interaction that you had with Tomer when, when you connected with him? Um, honestly, I was really drunk, so I don't remember mm -hmm. very much with it. But, I don't know, he started off, he said I was cute, 
And I know we talked for a little bit, and then he asked me to flash him. And I didn't know he was streaming. Like, Al left the room to grab a beer and came back. And then he asked me to give him my snap. And I did, and then he skipped me. Um, and then I found you later on, and you told me about it. Yes, this is a final question. What are your thoughts on what Tomer is doing and the content that he's making and who he's like co going after and everything? Honestly, I think it's really that he's profiting off of this shit, that he's asking miners to do this like without telling them that he's streaming as well. So now we know her age. But now we don't know if he still screen records these interactions and posts them elsewhere online. But we'll probably never know. Because that happened a month ago, and since then, he stopped live streaming again. Also, his YouTube channel also got terminated after attempting to do his Omi streams on there. So he's resorted to spamming videos on Instagram and on his story advertising his new OF account. But if I've learned anything from his past mentions of OF... Why don't you come do friends with me? I'll fly you out. I have, like, a mm -hmm. house with, like, all my boys and stuff. And there's five girls. And there's, like, my room and And you suck my... Every other day. Also, just a few weeks ago, at the time of this video being released, this random account spawned out of nowhere with Tomer's profile picture. And if you go to the account, it has some strange username, 1.5 million followers, and over 21 million likes. But for some weird reason, if you scroll through the content, there's only 33 videos, and all of them have under 1k views. Now you can say this is some imposter, pretending to be Tomer, but the videos on it are pretty topically relevant. He made a video about the sketch situation. I did not have sexual relations with that man. I'm just kidding. I did. Possibly. Can't tell it back. And I can't trace any of these videos back to anything other than this account. He only later posted some of these videos onto his Twitter. Here's a last minute update. Now that TikTok account is set to private. So now you know Tomer Lawton. This is his content. She thinks you're fake. Somebody rescue me. Hey. Not fake. I'm not fake. I appreciate it. I'll be I feel, bro, now I'm so happy to be on a meal. Yo, what up, China? King Kong Chai. F you. To pay to get on Ben right now will cost you more money than I made all day today, bro. This is f racist. Like, this has to be ra This is because I'm black. Ain't nothing but a clean picker. Look, look, guys, read. Guys, read this. I don't, like, I genuinely don't care about none of the other. Like, you can't get worse than what we've already seen. So I genuinely don't give a fuck. I don't care what you would say. Like, look at what he said. Burn. Oh, this is what he said, or this is what he's unbanning somebody or banning someone from. I don't care, bro. I don't. Like, you don't get worse than what we've seen already. <laughs> this is what I asked for. Yeah. What about the felon? What I'm that? not surprised, bro. Do I look naked? No, you just look shirtless. Right? I'm wearing my pants. Everyone said you look naked. <laughs> You want me to cut you? Okay, bro. You I get it. I get it. Category to look. No, they now. Is on my time. So what is Kick trying to do to combat these type of creators? Well, I know they now put Omegle, Omi TV, and Monkey streamers into their own category to look over them better and moderate it. So because of this, did anything change? Well, no. Tomer still did this type of content. The situation with the 15 year old happened after this category was even added. What I think the problem is, is Kick's image right now what their original goal was since day one can't be done in my opinion hear me out if you give people the freedom to live stream whatever they want without any strict rules and moderation what do you think will happen who do you think that will attract let me tell you the problem with kick right now okay if we create a platform that allows people to be more free and everyone takes that freedom and does heinous, disgusting in the name of clout. That's why we are where we are today. Like, why does everyone have to do these disgusting, crazy things when we give them a little bit more freedom? Like, I don't understand it. These people have no content, so they say stupid, extreme shit. That's just like, it's unwarranted and just dumb. Like, I don't know how, the, uh, how Eddie and all them feel, but I know how I feel. And it's just getting so annoying it's like this is becoming everything that I, I just don't get how this company is obviously there are some very very rich or wealthy investors that are willing to put and throw a lot of money into a program to combat twitch as a streaming service 
but i don't get how you are making any revenue how steak why are y'all saying steak casinos like i don't understand why you would even keep the platform afloat now like i get that people have attached themselves to kick because they offered all these extravagant deals to a whole bunch of streamers so they kind of don't have a choice they're contractually bound a bunch of people that they got on board are contractually bound but from what i hear a lot of those people's contracts are about to run up and i wouldn't assume that they would re-sign the same people for the same amount that they initially attracted them with so those people eventually are going to leave what how are they going to stay afloat with this business model and it's like a moderation only exists as an ad for stake crypto gambling like i don't even see what the point of this is anymore i know it w i know what, 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 it, what its initial creation was for but it's not worth it it's not worth it at all there, there are creators on this platform that are significantly smaller than the people that you sign for millions of dollars that are overtaking the face of it so now the face of kick isn't whoever it is that you sign the, the xqc's or the or you know the aiden ross's or whoever else you sign it's the smaller creators that are doing degenerate shit that get millions of views that become the face of your platform and you can't change that you can't even you can't even switch up the narrative I don't want it to be. We are literally proving every stereotype of edgy people being disgusting fucking disgraces of humans to be true. I, like, it, it's getting so, I, like, I'm, I'm getting so sick of it. Like, why are, like, we are. Even the big ones like Cargan do degenerate shit. That's true. We, on, on kick, we are trying to give people and streamers a platform where they don't have to be scared looking over their shoulder every fucking second of a, of a ban because they say, you know, a word right or they accidentally you know you know something sure. pops up in a video for a second but we do that and then these streamers it, that's not enough yeah. they take it too far all these streamers that are sitting here abusing the system and taking it too far they're going to turn on the very platform that is giving them that freedom and that's why the platform has to make the decision to put their foot down and draw some sort of line look at so you're going to become a twitch part two with even less users and less of a attractive interface so you're basically going to nullify the entire reason why you made the platform in the first place this is literally the most pointless business venture and waste of money and time and resources you could have ever gone on but shout out to the people that got their free contracts or they they contracts and shit like free bag you know what i'm saying but what the fuck was the point of this Looking over your shoulder doesn't mean you remove common sense. Train acting like he can't do some about it. Niggas only care about money and should focus on making something else cause Twitch will surpass eventually business wise. I don't get this. I'm pretty sure everybody said this exact thing when Kick first came out that you're gonna have to, if you don't wanna just hinge all your bets on investors, Stake is an online gambling site. It's banned on Twitch, so they made their own site to get people. If you don't want to just bank on just investors, you're going to have to get advertisers in on it at some point. And that will require you to have some form of terms of service so that they can be comfortable, like, giving you money. Sponsors, I'm sure, are staying away from K. Like, what are we talking about? Well, it's on did and we and you got dragged. No, I'm I'm saying everybody I'm everybody with a brain said that this would not be profitable long term. The minute the site came out. Why are they acting so shocked is what I'm is what I'm concerned about. And they're acting like, oh my god, we just accidentally created this breeding ground for degenerates. Well, no fucking shit. What?
Look at those apps that you just brought up, right? Monkey or Amigo, right? In the beginning, yeah, that there was you know some idiots that did stupid, disgusting. Shit. But in the beginning, it was relatively t tame, right? People were happy that you know this was allowed, and then and then you know a month, two months, three months, and look what happened. People took that freedom. What did they do with it? They started doing disgusting shit. A monkey. Disgusting. Sh that's all. That's not the platform's fault. That's the streamers who are greedy, insecure, contentless pigs that are pushing boundaries because they're insecure of their con it's not the platform's fault it's not the platform's fault for enabling people to do that knowing that that's what you're going to attract when that is your advertising scheme what did you think was going to happen when you told people they're banning y'all for saying certain things and doing certain things well you can come over here and do it what do you think? That's like a country removing all its laws and being surprised it's going downhill. It's like, bro, this is just, I don't know what type of mental gymnastics you got to go through to get to this point. Content because they have none. Now, don't get me wrong. There's a lot of normal streamers on cat just minding their own business. There are, and I feel bad for them. But at the end of the day, the face of the of the of the company is ultimately was going to change the ecosystem for all of them, whether they're doing good or bad. That's how it was for YouTube for a while. It was some people doing some shit that wasn't on the up and up, and it changed the entire way that you were able to upload videos, the entire way that you were able to get content out. And not having to abide by Twitch's more stricter rules. But why does it feel like that small group of those controversial kick creators are the most loudest and the most vocal on the platform? That's because they know how to game the system. They know how to view by and get their streams top recommended in their category. And they know how to clip farm and know how to get their clips to excel past kick and spread throughout all of social media or even get mainstream attention. And that's why most people know kick for some of the worst possible reasons. There's a huge difference between just chatting with your audience and getting a homeless woman who can't swim to jump into a lake for 20 bucks. There's a huge difference between doing an IRL stream to document your life and pulling out a weapon on a couple, minding their own business on a date night. And there is a huge difference between having a normal conversation with a random stranger and getting them <coughs> to expose themselves unknowingly to a live stream to later profit off of it on twitter patreon your own website and telegram but all these creators felt the freedom to do it on one platform kick.com listen competition is good for all live streaming platforms doesn't matter if it's kick Twitch, or even YouTube. It pressures each platform to do bigger and better things. I'm rooting for Kick, but it's really hard to see how they can have a future if they don't change their moderation drastically. Riot LOL, the person from my last Kick video, he watched Ice Poseidon growing up. No doubt, yo, holy f I just talked to Ice for like, like, oh, yeah. does it? I don't wanna be that f***ing guy, bro, but I'm not scared to say like, on no touch when you meet someone that you, like you watch and that's cool. And just like every influencer, the streamers that these websites choose to platform will inspire the next generation of future streamers. Kick should know this already because of the 14 year old they had to ban for doing streams like Jack Doherty and Neon. I can't stress this enough. These streamers are taking advantage of Kick's flawed moderation to push the limits and see how far they can go. So I highly suggest Kick does something about it now before another streamer ends up taking it way too far. Okay, so here's an old clip when Tomer was about to turn 21. It's my birthday in a month. And I don't care. I don't, I don't, I don't want, I, they said that he made a response to it. I'd have to see the response. Let me see. I forgot his name already. I don't want to see any more clips, bro. Please, Jesus Christ. What the fuck is his name? Is this the name? Oh my God. I typed in a totally different person. What is it called? To catch a, uh, a, a oh my God. I'm, it's just so much. Thank you for giving me the link. I'm, I'm my search, my, my results, my history looking insane right now. There's no way. 
I shouldn't even. As soon as he was reported, thank God. I love how Drake was on here, bro. Is Calling never beating the allegations. Babe, wake up. Out. Miles Morales. As a god. To ten. Rate me. <laughs> Delusional. Love. I'm not watching this, bro. I'm not watching this. I'm not watching this, bro. There's no excuse. Oh my fucking god. <laughs> bro, what is what? Like, there is. <laughs> Bro, I just, I just, what, what did I just do? What did I just do? Look at this shit, man. Black YouTube has gotten even, like, bro, what is happening? Who the fuck is looking, like, why? What for what? What, what, why? 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 We just got a good, we just got a good, a good, a good representation of what black YouTube is, how it supports its content creators, what we're doing and shit like that. Then I got to see another nigga going back to 20v1 saying this is what black YouTube is. Like, what are we talking about? Niggas is just making me mad. This is why I don't be like, this is why I don't be on the internet until I'm on the internet. This is why. Because there's nothing. There's nothing for me. I'm going to just shut the fuck up, bro. Just get on this bitch just to get mad and get sad. Only two reasons. When niggas finally watch some some funny shit, some wholesome shit from some, some a group of niggas that are like, oh, they doing their thing. It's like, nah, let's not acknowledge it. All right. Um...